of the occurrence of the arrest, Dr. Mart I mean, sorry, Detective Martinez says, it is some, uh, quick aside, it is something that has continually introduced to him as a drip, or is this something just a small in injection? And Dr. Murray says, you do a small injection to help him sleep, and then you try to drip slowly. And so, I, I think based on, on his own testimony, Mr. Flanagan, Mr. Jackson was on a drip that night. And it makes logical sense because, you know, well, you, you don't see, this is such a small dose that, you know, no one goes to sleep with such a small dose. Right. Now, Dr. Murray never said he gave a drip that night, did he? Yes, he did. He corrected the detective, dose and drip. He was describing the dose that he gave. The detective asked him if he's given uh, propofol before. He said yes, he's given it numerous times. The detective said more than 10 times, more than 30 times. Murray said he'd given him propofol with a drip uh, for approximately uh, six, seven weeks, something like that. Correct? Can I, can I yes. It, okay, just to answer the question. Yes, sir. And he described how he did it, correct? He describes how he did it. He gives a bolus of 50 milligrams and starts a drip. Right. And then, as of three days ago, he had changed his technique. And first of all, he gave, on Monday, he had given him 25 milligrams with a, with a half a drip. Half a drip. Okay. On Tuesday, he'd give him no propofol. Right. And then on Wednesday, or that night, when he died, he'd only give it him 25 milligrams infused over three to five minutes. Is that correct? Yes, he's, he gave he 20. He never said he gave a drip. I disagree night. with you. He gave a drip. It says here. He, so, you're, so you're saying that let me, let me repeat your question. Every single night for the last two months, he was giving 50 milligrams bolus <clears throat> and a drip every night of his powerful anesthetic agent. Yes. That two nights ago, he gave 25 milligrams and a drip. And that night, he only gave 25 milligrams by itself. But it, it, am I right? So it's established. I just want to understand. It's established that every other night he gave a drip. All two months he was on a drip. And and, and he was on a drip two days prior. But he tonight was on a, he wasn't on a drip. He it doesn't say he was on half a dose and half a drip. Two days earlier. Correct? Yeah. And he slept all night. He slept all night on the drip. Yes. And then he was trying to get him off of the propofol. The following night, he gave him only lorazepam and midazolam. Did you see that? Yes, sir. And he indicated he thought he was really on to something, correct? Yes, sir. And then he comes down to Wednesday night. He's trying to treat him the same way. He wants to give him lorazepam and midazolam only. Isn't that correct? He wants to. Okay. But then, between 10 and 10.30, Mr. Jackson, having not slept all night except for about 10 or 12 minutes, right around 3 o'clock, not having slept all night and being absolutely frustrated, told Dr. Murray that if he didn't give him any propofol, he wasn't going to be able to sleep, he couldn't do the tour, he couldn't, they'd have to cancel his show, and convinced Dr. Murray to give him some propofol right around 1040 to 1050. Yes, sir. Is that your understanding? Yes, sir. Okay, and then Dr. Murray, at that point in time, said he gave 25 milligrams over a period of about three to five minutes. And he never mentioned giving a drip, did he? 
He did. He mentioned dose and drip, sir. Well, well could maybe you could point it out to me. Absolutely. I'd like you to find a statement that he says where he gave a drip Here. that night. I've given it to him before. Wait, what page? Behind? I'm sorry. Let, let me, uh, there's two pages. One. What are you, what are you referencing? You're referencing a I'm transcript? referencing his transcript, his testimony. And well, it's not testimony. It's an interview? An interview, yes, sir. His interview. And if you can, re uh, Where, where are you referring to? I'm referring, first of all, to page 39. Okay, first. Page 39? Yes, what, sir. What line? Uh, line 22. 21 and 22. This is People's 198, I believe? Correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, to put that in context, we've got to go up. Starting at line 18, where he says, I've given it to him before. And then there's a comment by Mr. Chernoff, and he handled it fine. Dr. Murray says he handled it fine. Detective Smith, the same dose? Dr. Murray, the dose and the drip. Mm -hmm. Not the same dose in this case. Right. Because I had given him earlier, Versed, I'd given him the Ativan at different times during the night, and I know that their half-life is not as short as lorazepam. So I took a precaution, knowing that there was possible all of the medications still on board, so the 25 milligram ordinarily would not be a dose I would give him if he did not have those other cases. I didn't think I'd find anything, but I went.